Today I have a fun one, the new Leap Light from Lumentop, the Thor 2. It has a turbo glow ring here in the front bezel, as well as turbo glow vials around it that turn on once you've turned on the main emitter and glow. Pretty neat, I'll show you how that works inside. And it's also got a backlit LED tail cap, which is kind of cool. And it's available in this 18350 size, which I love, as well as an extension tube to make it compatible with 18650s. Thanks to Lumentop for sending this to me to look at and review. I'll have links to where you can pick it up from them in the description below, as well as the coupon code where you can save 21% on this fun leap, which is a great saving. Let me know what you think of the audio of this review as well. My recorder died and I've had to get a little creative here with my camera. So let me know what you think. And if you're not already, please follow me on social media. I'm getting a little bit more active on TikTok. I'm still trying to post to Instagram and my Facebook page too. So make sure you're following me there. Not much to say on the packaging here, just a brown cardboard box with the picture of the light on the front. You do have the options here. Light is available in titanium and then four different aluminum colors. The only accessory that came with my light is a manual here and mine did come with the 18350 tube. If you do buy the aluminum light, this is optional. If you buy the titanium light, it is included. For the price range here, I really think they should include it on both lights. So as mentioned, the Thor is available in a couple different material configurations. You've got titanium options with two different finishes, a polished and sandblasted, and then you have four aluminum different colored models, black, gray, sand, and raw. This is the gray here, and I've got my Lumentop FW3A. It's a very, very similar color. The FW3A is a little bit darker, or maybe mine's just dirty. As usual, I will start with the tail cap, and really this is a tail section. It's the body tube kind of. The light has no tail cap itself. You've got that button here. This is a reverse clicky button. It clicks originally pretty easily here, and then once it is on, You the half presses are really, really easy to hit. When it's off, you get LEDs surrounding here that glow in and out to different colors, green, yellow, red, blue, and red. I think this really adds fun to the light in my opinion. And then you've got some teardrop shapes milled in here. You've got spaces for tritium if you wanna include it here. So you've got always on permanent glow as well as the kind of off glow too. That'd be really a cool look for this light. As mentioned, I've got it in the 18350 configuration here. There's a spring in the back there. If you do want to run the extension tube, it's really easy. It just screws right on here. Um, some other reviewers had issues with fit on their titanium lights. I can tell you the aluminum light here is perfect. No fit issues with the tube on either end. It looks seamless. On the head side of the light here, we've got this metal description ring here. It says the name of the light, Thor 2, and the serial number. This is, looks like it's brass. It slides on and off here. And on my copy, it rotates, which I don't love. I might put a dab of glue in there so it stays in one place or a little bit of putty or something. I think they could do something different so this doesn't rotate. Or if you don't like it, just take it off. I think it'd also be cool if they added a turbo glow here like they do on the titanium light, or at least give that as an option for your aluminum lights. You've got springs on both ends, as mentioned before. You've got a little bit of grip here. It's square knurling, a little bit of a uh, heat sinking that's really for style only. And then you've got your turbo glow inserts here. These are little vials and they're glued from the back side. I'll show you pictures of what the inside of the light looks like. It's pretty unique. You've got your, and everything comes apart easily where you just unscrew this front bezel here. You've got your protective lens and then your reflector inside, which is uh, atmospheric. So it's bubbled on both sides. Then you've got your turbo glow ring around the outside here. And then the emitter down there at the bottom. And I'll put pictures pictures in of what all that looks like so you'll be able to see it. You do have your one warning sticker here that this is a class three laser device. Avoid direct eye exposure, which is really important with this light, much more than your normal LED flashlight. This is a sticker, it does peel off. I may do that, but for now I'll leave it. Minimum diameter is 25.6 millimeters. Maximum diameter here is 41.5. Length in the 18350 configuration is 116 millimeters. With the 18650 extension tube, it's 148.4 millimeters. Weight in the the 18650 configuration with a battery inside is 194 grams. Weight with the 18650 tube and battery came in at 233.6 grams. The light is impact resistant to one meter and IPX8 water rated. As far as retention here, there's really not much to say. The light does have a lanyard attachment point here, but none is included in the box. For this price range, that's a little bit disappointing. I think you should include a lanyard. It's a bit too small for normal paracord to fit through here too. So you need a split ring or something before you attach paracord. I think it really fits well in the hand in 18 
350 configuration. This is about the perfect size for a flashlight for me. Although this isn't something I'd EDC just do that bigger head. The Thor is using a LEAP or laser excited phosphorus. It's technology I've covered in past reviews, but it's similar to a blue laser shining on a piece of phosphor to produce light. In the Thor, the tint here is better than in my Jet Beam and Astrolux LEAP lights that I've reviewed, in my opinion, because it's less cool white and more neutral. It's slightly warmer when you look at it side by side. The beam is very small and has very little spill, which is exactly what you want out of a LEAP. It is more focused than my Astrolux W01, which I'll have night shots here. While not a lot of lumens at 500 in top mode, it makes up for it in the extreme amount of candela, 769,500 candela, and it has a claim distance of 1800 meters. I have no way of testing that exactly, but uh, I can show you in the night shots here. It's pretty impressive. And there is no PWM visible during any modes of this light. Okay, here are my night shots for the Lumen Top Thor LEP light. This is lowest mode, 30 lumens. You can see it's a very, very tight beam, very, very hot spot there. And even this goes at least, I'd say 100 feet, if not more, probably 100 meters at least. Camera has a hard time showing that, and this is a very flat location. I'm kind of up on a hill. Got a little hill in front of me here that we'll see a little bit later here. Here is medium, 180 lumens. And while that doesn't sound like a lot, remember this light is all about performance and throw. I'm hitting trees that you can see there at tree line. That's gotta be, I don't know, five, 600 meters easily. And it's no problem to hit that on medium, 180 lumens. And here here is high, 500 lumens. This is the brightest leap light I have. 769,500 candela. It blows out the camera here at any short distances. You can see there's no spill. This is truly a laser. And we can see here, there's a cabin way off over there. I can see it with my naked eyes that lights up the trees pretty easily. You can kind of see that on the screen there a little bit. And I can go along this tree line here. No problem to hit that. Back down here where I was hitting before with medium. Easy to hit the top of the trees. Here are a few trees that are a little bit closer. We can see here, easy to pick out. See something, there's an animal or something down there and reflecting. I can come down to low. I can still see down there with those eyes reflecting at me. There's medium and high one more time. A Little bit of comparison here is the Astrolux WP-1 and you can see it's a larger beam on high. It's actually less lumens. It shows on camera pretty well. It's a little bit more practical beam. Here is the ACE beam. It's tighter focus, has a little bit more performance. Remember the lumen top is out of a uh, 18350 here, so it's half the size, which is fun too. Here are those glow tubes, which are fun to see with the lumen top Thor of the head. If I shut it off, you can see there, they're blue and green, red. You can see that nice big glow ring on the inside and that lit tail cap there, which is just fun. So this thing is fun both when it's on and when it's off. I tested the light both with the 18350 tube using a Keep Power 1100 milliamp hour battery and the 18650 option with a Sony VTC6, 3000 milliamp hours. With the 18350 runtime at high mode was stable for five minutes before taking step down to around 30% relative output and was mostly flat out to 52 minutes. Total runtime was 57 minutes with maximum heat being around the six minute mark at 40 to see. With the 18650 battery, it was a very similar story. Turbo lasted the same amount of time and the step down lasted uh, out to two hours, 45 minutes. The total runtime ended at three hours, seven minutes. Temps were a little bit higher at 51C and it peaked near the end of the runtime. Just heat saturation there. The light does have low voltage protection built into it. So no need to run a protected battery here. You don't need a high amperage battery as the max power draw is only nine watts. And you do get quite a bit more runtime with that 18650 batteries so that's worth doing if you need or want that longer charge time and are okay with the slightly longer size. The UI on the Thor is very simple. It's an easy three mode light with a reverse clicky mechanical switch with a linear programming from low, medium to high. The light does come on in the next available mode. So here is low, medium, and high. If I shut the light off, the next mode will be low. If I shut it off again completely, the next one will be medium, and then I can half press to go to high. There's no shortcuts or blinking modes on here, just simple three mode interface. I did not find a way to shut off the tail cap 
colors or anything like that. So it is what it is. My conclusion, this is my favorite Leap Light that I've tested so far because its emitter is a more neutral, almost warm color and its performance is great, especially when you're running that 18350, which is really what this light's designed on. But I, like I said, I definitely recommend adding the 18650 extension to your order. If you decide to buy this light in aluminum, it really for the price, it should be included because it makes your runtime so much more without really that much longer length. I think the additional turbo glow in the head here, which you'll see in my shots and here is cool. You've got options for tritium, which is neat. And that glowing tail cap adds cool factor here. Leaps are expensive. And to me that just, like I said, adds cool factor. So it's worth doing. I still maintain leap lights are not super practical, but they're a lot of fun and great for specialized applications. This is a super compact thrower with great performance without heat limitations. And it's a lot smaller and runs for longer than your LED based throwers. This will wow your friends who've never seen a leap. They'll think it's a laser and it literally is. It's more laser than it is flashlight. It's a step above other leaps that I've tested this year. And while I love titanium, the increased cost here is really hard to justify. My recommendation would be choose aluminum and pick one up. And don't forget that coupon code in the description below that LumenHop has given me to save 21% on this light through September 30th, 2021. I earn nothing on that, but your purchase would help support the channel. Let LumenTop know you enjoy videos like this. As always, guys, let me know what you think of the LumenTop Thor 2, if you plan on picking one up, and what you use your Leap flashlights for. As always, thanks for watching these videos, and I'll catch you on the next review. Thanks.